Welcome back, folks, to another exciting round of the Social Distancing Beer Pong World Championship. My hair looks like this because nobody can tell me what to do with it. Today is match four and the final match for this leg of the tournament. I'm Jonathan P. Michaels and still beside me, Elizabeth Maiato. This week with mine. What a great couple of matches uh, so far, wouldn't you say, Elizabeth? They have been, yeah, so great, in fact, that I've decided to participate in the drinking. Okay. Oh. Okay. In our last match, we witnessed some really intense beer punk. Josh Pickles picked up a quick win against his opponent, Boris, and moves on up the ladder. Today's winner will have to make sure that they are ready for what may be a delicious, garlicky, dill pickly storm. Let's meet our players. Once again, we have another Canadian representative playing our beer pong championship from Kitchener, Ontario. We have Moses Bogart with one of the coolest birthdays in the world, drinking an amber lager and facing him. What is that like? Is that Malta? Malta? Malta. Malta. From Malta, we have Paul Hilly, a video editor who live in Whitby, of all places, drinking Corona. Malta? Corona? Eh, it's a good beer. Moses Bogart. Are you ready for your first game in the Social Distance Beer Pong World Championship? I am. This is something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Excellent. Paul, how are you feeling going into this championship? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like strong. I've been practicing for this tournament and championship like all my life. I, I'm, I'm very well versed with, with the ping pong balls, whether it's ping pong or beer pong, or just beer and balls. Oh, cool. Love it. Moses, have you been practicing? Do you, do you think you're on top of your game? Well, I'm on top. I haven't felt this good in a, in a long time. I, I've kind of rediscovered the fountain of youth here, and I'm throwing balls like, I, like I'm 20 years younger. All right, you then. Paul, how do you think you'll do with this tournament? Well. I think I'm gonna like, uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna do really well because uh, I'm really confident about my abilities and practicing and, you know, my practice game was really good today, you know, almost, almost sunk every, every one, every ball. Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to sound too cocky, I'm just feeling confident. It's a little bit of a different thing. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what do you think of your opponent? I don't. I don't think of him really much at all. I mean, he's from Kitchener, come on. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's not, but any opponent any opponent for me is not really the opponent that I'm, I'm thinking of. I'm really just concentrating, you know, that ball in that cup, and that's all I need to do. That's really, really, it's kind of like, you know, the challenge with that, that solitaire challenge of like, you know, me doing my job. I don't really have to like think of anyone else. Well, hopefully that works to your advantage. I guess we'll find out. Moses, your thoughts on your opponent, Paul? Well, it's, I looked up his country and couldn't find it on a map. It's so small, so I don't know. At least you tried. You tried. Paul, how many, I gotta know, how many balls do you like to hold in your hand at once? Well, at least three. I wasn't expecting that. But alrighty then. Should we get to the game? Let's, let's get this game going. Paul's first toss is a miss. Oh! And Moses comes back with a response. Fantastic shot. Bottoms up, Paul. Bottoms up. Oh! A little aggressive on that one. Paul. But he gets a trick shot out of this because it came right back to him. No good under the leg. Mm. Not quite. I agree, man. Yeah. Oh! Nice shot. Ooh. Beautiful. Two nothing. Moses up on Paul. Nicely done. 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 Nicely done.
nicely done. Getting that tip cut. Ooh. Fantastic shot there, Paul. I'd like to point out that both gentlemen have sunk the tip cup. Ooh. That was a mess. That was violent, but it worked. Ooh. Real snipe celly there, Paul. Good shot, bud. Even better shot, Moses. Ooh. With a little dance. Fantastic. Ooh. Folks, this is an interesting game. Paul might be drunk very soon. If he isn't already. Ooh. We are standing at 3-2. Moses with the shot. A little prep bounce. Oh. Air ball. Air ball. He even oh. calls it. <laughs> and a miss. Can he tie? Formation. Very close. Moses calling for a re rack and okay. busting out the measuring tape. Is he imperial or metric? That will actually determine the type of man he is. Well, he's precise. He's very precise. Very precise. Oh! oh. Aggression's working for Paul here. Thumbs up, Paul. Good toss there, bud. Concentration. Moses, Moses really likes that prep bounce. That prep bounce is working for him today. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah, every rack. Re -rack. Mm. Paul asking for a re rack. He's going going. With a small triangle. Okay. How typical. Mm. Just a little short. Not bad. Lucky bounce. Not so lucky this time. Close. Oh. Paul is, is Paul angry at his cups? I don't understand. I, I think oh. so. Okay, Moses with a miss. Off the cups. Lemurs are from Madagascar, right? Not Malta? I think so. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, no, Wait, we no. have redemption. Redemption! And that's a no. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, you have your winner. winner. Moses Bogars. With a celebratory chug. He's... Oh, I should probably do the same thing. Because I forgot it was there. For Canada right there. That's for Canada. It was a tight game folks but Moses came out on top and he dedicates that win to good old Canada. Well let's check in with the players shall we? Moses how are you feeling after your first win? Oh, on top of the world. I knew that that first game was going to be a big test really prove myself in this tournament but I had all the Canadians 37 million people behind me 500,000 people in the Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge area, and over 250,000 alone in wow. Kitchener cheering me on, counting on the local boy. And you know what? Local boy made good. Let's go, Canada. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan too, I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. I may be biased, but hey. Paul, how do you feel after that crushing defeat? You win some, you lose some. Up until now, I've won many. It's just another game, you know, another, another loss. You know, I should have, I should have, uh, you know, I should have just tried harder. I was a little quick on, on some of the throws there. Uh, a little bit more concentration probably would have helped. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, you know, when I do this kind of practice, kind of eyeing the ball in the cup, you know, I think, you think you have it, but, you know, you might, you might throw it a little too early and that, and that tiny bit of degrees changes everything. And I think that's, I think I did that a lot this, this, this route. That's a, you know, you're being a really good sport about it. And Moses, I see, is still enjoying his beer. You go, man, you do your thing. Go Canada. But I need to know, what are your goals and expectations going into the next round? More of the same, more of the same. I got my rhythm down, I got my distance down. I love beer. So more of the same. This is just gonna be a snowplow all the way to the finals. That sounds really smart. That sounds like a really good plan. Yeah, yeah. Paul, are you gonna come back for season two? Yeah, I, I play again. I mean, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing anyway. Like we're playing this game all the time. You know, we're just like, 
we're on our downtime, it's beer pong time. Social distancing or not, we're drinking, we're having fun, we're beer pong. Now Moses, everyone wants to know, with Josh Pickles being the favorite of our championship so far, how are you feeling knowing you're gonna face him in the next round? Yeah, we're gonna put that pickle back in the jar, okay? Hope he likes brine, a lot of brine. That's what life's gonna bring him from now on. Brine. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess let the chirping commence. Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> what a matchup today, don't you think, Elizabeth? Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul showed some promise going into this game, but much like the burning bush, it was all Moses. He now moves on to the quarterfinals to take on Josh Pickles, and in my opinion, that is a battle worth watching. I agree. Thanks again for joining us, folks, and remember to sign up for Season 2. Everything you need can be found on our Facebook page, and don't forget to like and follow. I'm Jonathan P. Michaels. And I completely forgot about my wine. And remember to distance yourself socially. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Bye.